at some point, you got to figure out you're going to run out of second chances. You know, if it's one thing that this lady's going to be able to teach other women is that the grass ain't always greener on the other side. In another clip, unfortunately, this guy's going to learn the hard way that some modern women are equal opportunists, users, and abusers. But first, let's get into the first clip. You know, they say with age comes wisdom. Too bad nobody told this lady that. So, at the age of 33, I finally realized successful men do not care about having a successful woman. The men that care about having a successful woman with well, her together is the broke men. So now it makes sense why so many successful single black women, because we don't want the broke men that want us for our statute. And then the successful men with their together don't give a damn about us having together because they can provide. So they don't need us to be able to provide. Now, obviously, you can see this woman, she really thought she was saying something so profound just by her body language or her tone of voice. But she still got it completely wrong. And this is why so many women continue to fail. It's never been about broke men versus successful men. It's about men who have a plan versus those who do not have a plan. Because the fact of the matter is this being broke for anyone can be a temporary condition. His priorities based on how focused he is, based on his purpose and how driven he is to get towards his goals. But because so many times these women don't want to be patient and grow and build with these men, they want to wait at the finish line. And if you're going to wait at the finish line, you better at least come correct. And just like we have like this woman right here, a lot of women aren't even prepared to compete for the class and the caliber of man they say they want. At least have the decency to tell me like, yo, this isn't, this isn't working. Cause yeah. I've had some mad experiences in terms of like going out to eat with someone. And then like, while I was, she was walking back to her car, whatever, blocked me on everything I didn't know. Really? Yeah. yeah. But Man. did she know she, you were disabled before? Yeah, you got there, like, we had this conversation. Yeah. That's, yeah. Fucking, like, that's, that's yeah. mad. That's mm. fucking a star. Mm. Well, that's just that's one example. That. Yeah. yeah. I had to go to work like a few hours later. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's not hey, nice. hot. Oh. You know what? Yeah, man. Working as a, as a, we're all men in here, it's yeah? Rough. Heartbreaks hard, bro. It's, it's not rough. rough. It's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. And this situation right here is just an example of how some people can be so immature because she could at least through text message if she didn't want to tell him face to face said hey let's just be friends it's not going to work out whatever excuse that women want to give when they don't like a guy and they're not into him she could at least did that much but she didn't even do that she immediately blocks him as soon as they get out of the restaurant and we see this happen a lot where women brag about being able to go out seven days a week without having any money in their bank account yet they're still going out to dinner dates and having meals where they could they get them pay by for some guy who thinks that this woman's actually interested in giving them their time. And because every action is going to cause a reaction, men are smartening up. That's why you're seeing more and more men who are choosing to forego expensive dinner dates in favor of less expensive options, coffee dates, going for walks, things that require far less of an initial upfront investment because they want to use as many men as they can in as short as time as possible. And how did that contribute to the destruction of the relationship? It's just that we wasn't seeing eye to eye no more. He wants something else and I what want something want? else. He wanted to get married and I told him no. Do you regret that? Yes and no. Okay, because explain. It, because it was a lesson learned. He met me as a construction worker. That's one point. He met me as an actual construction worker. I was making like $14, $15 an hour. Okay. All right. And so, I mean, are you still homeless right now? I'm, I'm <clears throat> not. It's like I have like somewhere to rent right now. But we saw it. And now you're an actual whole homeless person living on the street who got a place to rent, but don't got the money to rent the place. That's why she didn't just say yes. Each other one other time, um, about a month ago or so. Yeah, I saw you at Woodruff Park. <coughs> yeah, and, and 
you said that you was going to cook for him and his girlfriend. I was being friendly, like, hey, can I use your stove real quick and I will cook for you and for her too. Why do you think you rejected his offer the first time? The first time? Meaning, let's go down the timeline. The first time, the second time, the third time. I rejected all of it. Why? It's because at the time I was 27, 28. I didn't know any better. That is so weak. Too many times you hear this where people want to say, oh, it's because I was young. That's why I did it. At some point, you got to learn how to take accountability for the situation that you put yourself in. And here's the thing. She probably thought that she was going to be able to find something better if it didn't work out between the two of them. I didn't know any better. I didn't. It was up to me. If, if I could rhyme time right now. What would you have done different? I would still be with that man. Still. Video and he reaches out to you. Are you going to accept his offer this time or are you still going to reject it? There's no offer this time. He said, I love you. I love you enough to let you go. A few years later, but what have you learned specifically? I've learned that when a man loves you and can give you the world, sweetheart, take it. And this right here is the future. For those who choose to think that, oh, the grass is always going to be greener on the other side, that they don't need a man, that they'll be fine just on their own, this is more than likely going to be the future. Because everybody can't be a boss, babe. Everybody not going to be the CEO and have their company. Matter of fact, we already know from those studies that came out that, unfortunately, black women are leading in most evictions right here in the United States. So this is not only something that's the future, but it's actually the present right now today. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think. Questions, comments, feedback. As always, hit that like and that subscribe button so that you can keep on enjoying content just like this. And as always, until next time.